I'm gonna show you exactly how to break off a stone crab claw using three different methods. My name is Darcy from Darcy's Offshore and we're out here crabbing today, checking our stone crab traps. So this is a beautiful male. This is a huge, gigantic stone crab. And we're gonna be harvesting his very colossal sized stone crab claw here. So there are three different methods like I just said. Method number one, this is what commercial guys would do all the time and I'm just going to go through the motion here. But you're gonna take the claw that you're gonna harvest, which is this one right here, fold in the claw that you're not gonna harvest, just like so, so you can't pinch you. And then what you do, or commercial guys would do, is they just break. And when I mean that, you literally just take that claw and you bend, break in a downward motion and it'll snap right at the joint. The joint is right there, really close to his body. And basically, if that joint is injured in any way or ripped out of his body, this crab will die. And in my opinion, I'm not out here every day breaking crab claws. And I used to do this back in the day, but there's a higher percentage chance of this crab dying because of an improper break in the joint. And I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna kill them. So the second method that I'm gonna show you, which guarantees the break is going to be absolutely perfect, and I know this crab is going to live, and now a lot of you guys are gonna tell me, how do you know that crab's gonna live? Well, I know he's gonna live because it's a perfect break on the joint, and when the joint stays intact, he'll bleed out a little bit, but he's not going to actually die because of my break. And they lose their crabs naturally in the wild all the time. So take a short knife, there's a four inch bait breaker. And what I like to do, there's a little faint line right here between the claw and the joint. You can see I have them on the floor, the claw I'm not taking underneath my foot lightly. And then you just take your tip of your knife and go right on that little point. And that crab is literally going to release that claw. You see that, that blood just shoot out? You see how the break is clean? There's no joint there at all. That means that I did a great job. And you can see that joint is intact fully. And it did just squirt out a little bit of crab blood. That's crab blood, by the way. That's not red blood like fish would have or we would have um, because they're crustacean. But that crab is going to be fine. You're legally allowed to take both claws, but we only take one claw. So look at the size of that gorgeous thing. Before I get to the third method of how to break a stone crab claw, I want to quickly tell you about these beautiful custom stone crab claw necklaces that I hand make myself from the actual claws that I harvest right here in my own waters. Also, don't forget about beautiful sterling silver nautical pendants. We got sea turtles that are just hot, hot, selling like hotcakes on the website. We got mahi pendants, all kinds of beautiful things for the males and females in your life. Fish hook and anchor bracelets, 2023 dark sizzle calendars, eight by tens, performance apparel, you name it, I've got it on my website. I would highly appreciate it if you guys take the time to check it out because we got awesome gifts for the holidays and supporting my small business. I'll link that information down below. This is a different way to take a stone crab claw off. I'm gonna show you guys right now. And what I'm gonna do is just take this bait breaker knife from Smith and insert it right here. There's a membrane there. Whoa, that was really cool. All right, that was actually the first time I've done that before. I've seen a couple videos out there on how to take stone crab claws, but you saw how that just really, the crab just released the claw. Um, and they do that in the wild naturally. If they're in a fight or they feel like their lives endangered, they'll just drop that claw and they'll get away. So inserting the claw into that meat section right there of the membrane just in instinctively had her release it. So that was really cool. Clean break, and that crab is gonna be absolutely fine. Let's let her go.